As you can see, I kind of couldn't hold myself uh, from uh, putting gophers in my uh, presentation. Okay, so I'm uh, Nitsan, uh, um, and I'm going to talk about some uh, very, um, I don't know if it's called niche, uh, but a, a small package called uh, Plugins and Go. Um, uh, I guess I'll just dive right into it. What are uh, what are Go Go plugins for? Uh, with the raise of hands, how many of you know uh, what Go plugins are for? Had uh, some use of them? Good, great. Uh, so basically, as uh, as it says so on the board, <laughs> uh, Go plugins uh, the plugin package uh, essentially um, is for uh, loading uh, compiled uh, Go code in run runtime. Um, so um, let's uh, talk just a little bit about um, uh, how does it look like? What do, what do you mean uh, loading compiled Go at runtime? Um, I, all the, most, uh, most of my usage with Go is uh, Go build. It builds me a binary, either Windows or uh, uh, Linux binary. And um, uh, from there on, it's a simple execution. So uh, what, the, uh, what stands behind the, the um, Go uh, what stands behind uh, Go plugins is the Go build uh, the the plugin build mode. Uh, the the plugin uh, the plugin build mode tells Go build to uh, build the binary um, into a shared object. The, the, does any is anybody familiar with the SO files? Probably the more uh, C++ savvy uh, pe people in the cloud in the cloud. Um, uh, so, um, uh, so essentially, what the the Go build? Uh, let's see if I can have this uh, laser pointer thing working. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, essentially, building a, a, a Go Go code um, uh, with Go build uh, build mode uh, plugin will compile the. Uh, will compile your uh, module into a shared object. Um, aside from that, uh, uh, go, the the standard the standard uh, library provides us with uh, uh, with two neat functions. Uh, these are uh, the only, literally, the only one exposed in the plugin uh, um, uh, module. Um, uh, one loads uh, the shared object file, and the other looks for symbols in that file. Now, this is a bit uh, um, high level. Th this is uh, not, not high level. Uh, this is a bit uh, off the top of uh, my head, but le let's see how it looks. OK, so what, the, uh, what building uh, uh, Go plugin lets me do is uh, it essentially lets me uh, build, uh, compile uh, 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 a Go file that looks like this. Notice that it doesn't have any uh, main function because it doesn't have an uh, an entry. It's uh, it's supposed to be uh, operated from outside. It's supposed to be loaded at, at runtime and uh, loaded from outside. So let's say I have this file plugin.co um, uh, that has the print hello function, uh, and I build it with uh, this command: the go build build mode plugin. Uh, from uh, those of you who know the uh, minus o uh, flag, uh, that means it will output uh, plugin.so, a shared object, as I've said before. Um, provided this uh, Go plugin uh, uh, code. Uh, so on the other end, I could, um, uh, on another binary, load this uh, shared object in runtime. Um, the first um, entry point into the uh, uh, plugin code is uh, Go open. I specify the the shared uh, the shared object file, um, and uh, after loading it, I can poke around and look up for symbols in it. Notice the print hello lookup 
references the function uh, described here. Uh, essentially, the lookup uh, for the symbol called print hello will return the uh, pointer to the function print hello. Wait, print hello. All that's uh, left to do is to cast it to tell Go that uh, it's a parameterless uh, function and uh, to activate it. So the first question that comes up is why though? Like if I have uh, some code that uh, I want to load uh, alongside some other code, why just not compile it with it? One of the main reasons are uh, separation of concerns. I could, uh, I could have two teams, each working on a uh, different piece of the code, one working on the infrastructure, and one, of, uh, one working on uh, some implementation detail. They could be running uh, and producing different uh, Docker images, um, uh, that load, load separately and uh, are detached from each other. Another reason is uh, smaller uh, Docker image layer uh, changes. Uh, because uh, making a change means changing one new file, the shared object file. Um, if I end up um, uh, producing new uh, plugins, new versions of a plugin, all it means is uh, producing a new file uh, that's, uh, that uh, concerns only my implementation uh, detail binaries. Uh, the last reason is uh, uh, a requirement for modular behavior. If, just like I've said before, um, for example, um, I'm currently building a game. That game is uh, based on um, a runtime server, like a game uh, management server called uh, Nakama, and it allows you to uh, produce to produce uh, extensible code by either uh, Lua, <laughs> which you all uh, probably know, or by Go plugins. This enables me to create uh, Docker uh, Docker images of the game server without pre-compiling their code and then my code. All I need to do is take their image, unload my, uh, my shared object that I compiled separately, and I have a running version of my uh, game server that includes the extensions. So, uh, some gotchas um, going into uh, Go plugins. The way I showed it earlier, might insinuate that it's really uh, uh, very simple and easy. You just uh, create a shared object file and it lets you load and poke around into uh, um, uh, into sim symbols in that file, but it's not that uh, uh, nice and easy. Uh, the, the plugin code has to be compiled with the code that, the, the code that runs it, uh, the, the host code. Uh, that includes the standard library, Go, its version and uh, sometimes uh, libraries that it depends on. And uh, there is no way to unload uh, loaded binaries. That also insinuates that uh, it shouldn't be used in cases where you need uh, um, hot-loaded uh, uh, logic to be run. It's meant to be uh, loaded either at uh, startup or at some crucial point uh, uh, during your runtime, uh, and then uh, run, uh, and then just to keep it running uh, from there on. And some good practices that I've seen uh, that work um, well with the approach to plugins uh, are registration methods, and uh, as I've said before, uh, dedicated uh, Docker images for uh, building plugins. Um, so when I say registration methods, I mean uh, agreeing on uh, some initializer initializer uh, interface and using it to initialize, let's say, the register uh, function. So all the uh, plugin needs to do is uh, uh, export some register function and it can integrate itself into an active system using an initializer. 
Docker build uh, uh, Docker build uh, uh, images that let you build the build, build the plugins using Docker without making a lot of mistakes. Thanks. Thank you.